All right. Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome. Welcome back to another episode of Coffee Talk. So I'm recording this right after the last one. I know it's kind of weird that I just hit, uh, I just stopped recording and record the next one right after. But I'm trying to milk this as much as possible. <laughs> I really love this game. And I want to make sure I have enough videos for backlog just in case if I'm unavailable. So in the meantime, let's continue. Sunday, October 4th, 2020. The Evening Whispers. Police raid on Private Calcella after party is biggest drug and sex related bust of the year. Whoa! Fight broke out during Calcella. Culprits in police custody. Despite the arrest, Calcella will go on. Welcome. Hey, Pop. Good evening, everyone. <clears throat> Everyone's safe and sound tonight. So far, so good, officer. But the cop was supposed to be watching this, this area hanging out in the coffee shop? I'm not sure about that. Hey. I'm working right now. I just love multitasking, you know? <clears throat> that requires skill. Taking a break and working at the same time, you mean? You know it. That's an oxymoron. That's why I said it requires skill. Anyway, Calvin, I really need an espresso to keep me awake tonight. All right, espresso. Coffee, coffee, coffee. It's been a while. Uh, it's been a long time since I made, since I started making coffee. An energetic express that will keep your officer upright on patrol. Hey, you and your sense of humor. <clears throat> your expressos are always out of the world, out of this world. Definitely better than mine or my wife's. It's not a competition, officer. Hey, ha, it is for her. She thought if she could make a better one. I saw coming to this place so often. <laughs> That's not happening anytime soon. So, anything special today? Surprisingly, no. Gotta make sure this place is safe, though. What are you grinning about? I mean it. Excuse me. <clears throat> you were here the last two days, right? Yes, I was. And some crazy things happened here. And two days in a row? I said the gods were trying to give me a first-hand experience to use, to use in my story. Still fretting over your story, eh? Well, the deadline for my draft is getting nearer. Oh yeah. How's it going? Quantity-wise, it's shaping up pretty well. Quality-wise, honestly, I'm pretty confident. Best of luck, then. Do you have any updates about the last two days of chaos? Or the werewolf case. I spoke to Gala about it. What? Are you going to arrest him? Some officers at the uh, precinct were talking about it. But in the end, we, we agreed not to do it. Because he really helped out a lot last night. We asked the folks in the hospital. <clears throat> some other people in the area. Without him, we'd have an idea. We've had a... We, without him, we'd have a... Ha we'd have had a lot more problems. Jesus Christ, that was hard to read. He helped a lot, getting most of the werewolves safe in the hospital. Too bad he couldn't lock himself up in time. Thankfully, he didn't hurt anyone. So those who'd rather detain him can't do anything anyway. Phew. I'd be pretty mad at you if they did arrest him. Hey. Being mad at me wouldn't solve anything. I know. What about Rachel's dad? Any idea what happened? I'm not too sure myself. Most of it didn't happen around here. What? Yeah, it seemed like it happened out near Calcella. That's a long way away. 
I mean, it's not actually that far. But he wouldn't be able to walk it. Not in that state. So far, that's all I know. I can hear the rain. Is there a way to, like... Hold on. So there's... There we go. The rain was really loud. Rachel! Rachel? Uh, Rachel? Is Mr. Hendry alright? Before that, could I have a cup of hot chocolate, please? Dark. So I think that's... Milk chocolate, nope. Oh, chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. <coughs> Dark chocolate. Your hot, <clears throat> your hot chocolate's ready. Thank you. That's gonna be fine. You woke up this afternoon. Thanks to Mr. Gala. Oh! Father and daughter. The Velvet family. Oh! Are the things, uh, is their story done now? You got help fast enough to stop getting, uh, getting, stop things getting worse. He's doing okay then. It'll take a few days before he fully recovers. <coughs> but no permanent injuries we need to worry about. That's good to hear. I know. But still, it's all because of me. Because I didn't listen to him. When all he wanted was to do was protect me. Rachel, don't blame yourself for this. Please don't take offense. But is it okay for you to leave your father alone in the hospital? His friends are out there, are there at the moment. And I can't face being stuck in a room with a bunch of people I don't even know right now. Besides, I really needed to get away for a bit. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> So I just so I told Dad I'm gonna visit Coffee Talk to get some fresh air. He's okay with that. He under, he understands. He always does, I guess. Miss Rachel, what really happened last night? Dad got into a fight with some thugs. I heard them talking about me in some very suggestive, perverted ways. Oh, he didn't like that, of course. So he morphed into his cat form. I started to fight with the thugs. Why did he morph? So people wouldn't see what his human form would look like. Oh. And link him directly to me. Some cops went to the crime scene. They found some eyewitnesses to testify. They managed to find the thugs. Oh, that's good. Are they fans of yours? No. It's even worse. They work for Mr. Lester. I called it. I had a feeling. What? Oh boy. The reason why it didn't take long for the cops to find them was because they were already under arrest. Oh. Because the party went uh, went too far last night. Whoa. How did it all connect up? They're Mr. Lester's bodyguards. They were chilling after the show, uh, having a pre-party before the big one. And you know what got you know about got about guys in locker room talk, right? Yeah. Well, that's what they were doing. And now it's a topic of discussion. Ah. So there's that. I'm sorry to hear that. And you were right about this, about his party. <clears throat> I'm glad I wasn't there. Once again, I owe Dad for... Hey, it's okay. The most important thing right now is that you're safe. And your dad made it through. I should have listened to him. He might be out of touch. But he's still way more experienced than me. And he's my father. I wish mom was here. She'd know what to do. She'd know what to say to dad when he's recovered. You know what? I'm sure you'll know what to do. You're an adult, remember? But I don't know. 
All I know is I have to be there for him when that's it. That's all you have to do. <clears throat> it might be weird for it might be weird to hear it about some Jesus Christ. It might be weird to hear it about something from coming from Freya. But she is right. <clears throat> be there when he needs you, Rachel. Be there when he needs you, Rachel. And whenever you need a breath of fresh air, you can come here and relax for a while. Guys, thank you. I've had enough fresh air for one day. I'll go back to the hospital now. Thank you for the update, Miss Rachel. I wish your father a speedy recovery. Thank you, Calvin. Oh, shit. Dang. I had a feeling that's what happened. Man. What a weekend. Pretty crazy, I know. Anyway, I've got to continue my, my patrol. It's been a pretty weird weekend. Excuse me. Excuse me again. <clears throat> but overall, things are still safe around here. But even with that, never let your guard down, okay? No problem, officer. Thank you for checking up on us, Officer Georgie. Okay then. See you. My nose is itchy. Are you going to leave as well, Miss Freya? Or are you going to leave well for as well? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Are you going to leave as well, Freya? I don't think so. I've had enough rest. I ha and, I have <clears throat> and I have stories to write. You're not tired? Definitely not. In fact, I think I can get it, get it done today. Hmm. All right. I won't bother you then. No, you're never a bother. Besides, this whole book project would never have existed without this place. And you. So, thank you. The pleasure was mine. Now, I'm sure you shouldn't. Uh, <clears throat> I'm sure you shouldn't spend any more time on chit chat. You've got a book to finish. <laughs> no problem, boss. <coughs> All right, hello, hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome back to another episode of Coffee Talk. So, um, in the last episode, I hit <clears throat> I hit the stop recording button without saying my outro <laughs> for some reason. So, uh, excuse me for the weird outro I did last time, but uh, yeah, let us continue. Um, all right, cafe latte. I think we're almost done with the game. Maybe. Two weeks later. The evening whispers. Calcella Festival proves to be a major boost for Seattle tourism. More women have spoken out and claim Morris Lester lied. Initial reports indicate possible herpes outbreak at Calcella. Ooh, uh, 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 <clears throat> uh I wonder by who. Exactly. Uh, who could have caused those herpes? I hope it's not Lance. <clears throat> Oh shit, everyone's here. <laughs> Hello. Uh, you're finally here. Oh, sorry, that's me. You're finally here. Hey, all. Hey. Hey. Yo. Hi, Freya. Huh. Someone's feeling happy today. Of course. Did they... They approved it. We're so happy for you. Congrats. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I was a little wrong. <clears throat> Congrats. Oh, my. Oh, Jesus Christ, my lip. Ugh. Do you know how happy I am? Judging from your expression, I'd say something between, somewhere between ecstatically and rapturously. That's a word. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You're goddamn right. Oh my god, oh my god. Excuse me, excuse me, sorry. Excuse me, Jesus Christ! So, Belchie, I think this is the end. How did they uh, react to the draft? To be honest, they're not that excited about the story itself. A story with an unhappy ending, huh? That's what they said. But at this point, I don't really care. As long as they have published it. 
I'm in, I'm content with that. Anyway, whatever happens with the book now, I can take things a little slower because they gave me a year to finish it with fee with a feedback session every mo every month. Sound well with a feedback session every month. Sounds professional enough. Of course, they are the biggest publisher around. Enough about me. How's the coffee shop been doing? I mean, it's been great. We've had a lot of few customers. We've had blah, blah, blah. we've had a lot of new customers lately, and some old timers, of course, and some old timers, of course. I heard Hyde's back from his trip to Korea. <coughs> All right, he went to Korea. Forgot about that. Yeah, he brought some gifts back. He didn't get any for me. I'm not sure. But he did say, he always gives gifts directly. Gift giving to the old fashioned way, huh? How about you? <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my god. <clears throat> my throat just started scratching. Ah. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Things are great. Wait, I just look at my recording screen, and why is everything so bright? Oh, well. Uh, it's okay. Because everything's, like, pretty dark on my screen because of the setting I have right now. But anyways, things are great. The last time I saw you was before your mini break? Yes, we decided to go to Calcella. Wow! That event was a mess. <laughs> yeah, three hours at a festival enough was enough for us. So where did you go after that? We ended up in Port Townsend. How was it? How was it? I enjoyed it. Never knew a historical trip could be fun. Oh yeah, I saw your new profile picture, Aqua. <clears throat> you both look cute. Is that our thingy? Neil, that's the name. <clears throat> not, not Lance. Neil Armstrong. Lance is... Lance Armstrong is somebody else. Aka Hendry, is she not here? Myrtle. Oh, there we go. <coughs> you both look cute. Oh, man. <laughs> Thanks. Was that taken during your vacation? No. It was at M it was at Max. They had a Japanese style photo booth there. So I forced her to take a picture with together. You were at Max too, Myrtle. You were at Max too, Myrtle? Yeah. I helped her out a bit with the booth. <clears throat> Thank you. You don't have to keep thanking me. I feel like this is the end of the episode, so I think I might just combine last episode with the previous one. So I'll probably just take out that weird one. one. Okay, hold on. Sorry. I just realized I'm like doing things way ahead of my head uh, because I'm, I'm mainly recording things right after the other. So I assumed I would be doing an outro, but I'm not going to be doing a weird outro. I'm just going to combine the two episodes because the last episode was like 12 minutes. I'm not going to leave that like that. Okay, let's continue. <clears throat> By the way, have any of you heard from Neil? No, not me. They did send two postcards to the office shop. Really? <clears throat> yeah, one's from Calcella. <clears throat> Jesus Christ. That's not even far away. Why send a postcard? Hard to tell with them. Hard to tell with them. What about the second one? It's from New York. Whoa. What? What are they doing in New York? Beats me. Working on their mission, maybe. Ha. Huh. Yeah, probably. They'd stand more of a chance there. Probably. I don't know. Anyway, guys. We're leaving for the night. Aw, oh, come on. So soon? We were here for hours before you arrived. And we need to work tomorrow. Fair enough. <clears throat> Take care on your way, then. Jesus Christ, my throat. Good luck with the novel. Thanks. See you, Calvin. See you around.
They look happier than when I first met them. They do. Oh, achievement! Our Remy Jendru, 24-7, a beat to relax, study to. What? Oh, no, what? Wait, what was that achievement? What was that? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Captures, no. How do I look at that? I don't remember. Yes. What was that? No. How do I look at achievements? I don't remember. Oh, I'm an idiot. Did I get these? No, zero percent. Blah, blah, blah. Oh no, these are what I have left. What about the ones I already achieved? Oh. 24 7 feet to relax study too. Okay, I know. Whatever. Okay then. <clears throat> it's not easy to find uh, it's not easy to find someone you can be comfortable with. It's such a short amount of time. Yeah. Anyway. Baileys! Sorry if it seems like I'm ignoring you, Baileys. No worries. I don't feel ignored at all. Are you by yourself tonight? <clears throat> no, I'm waiting for Lua. She has some work to do. This late at night? Yeah. She's been doing overtime for the past few days. How are the two of you doing? Things have been great. In fact, after 10 years together, we're finally moving in together next month. Oh, nice! Wow, congratulations! Congrats! What I thought Lua lived with her flatmate. We're moving to a new place. She got promoted recently. And her company's providing her with an apartment. Oh wow. Wow. She must be really she must be a really big deal in her office. Well, you definitely earns more than me. That's not saying much, Baileys. <laughs> you shouldn't say that to a fellow freelancer. Oh, here she comes. <clears throat> Baileys, I'm so I'm so sorry. I didn't I, I didn't expect to take so long. I thought it would be done by honey. It's alright. Freya and Calvin have been keeping me company anyway. Oh, hey Freya. And Calvin. Sorry for barging in without saying hi. How's it going? I would say things are going great. But not as great as you two lovebirds. You told her already? Only about the morning and part. Only about the moving in part. <laughs> As you've heard, we're going to move in together next month. Where is it? Not far. I mean, the company provided the place, so they want to cut my uh, community costs as much as possible. <clears throat> That's thoughtful of them. That means they don't need to re reimburse my taxi fees when I'm <laughs> working overtime. Oh yeah, that too. <laughs> it also means we get to visit the place more often. That's a good point. We hold this coffee shop a lot, anyway. Don't mention it. I have a question for both of you. Go on. The last time we met, I believe you're going to introduce Bailey's to your parents. How did it go? Man, her father didn't kill me, at least. <clears throat> well, at least Papa let you eat lunch with us. That's rare, you know. I know. And. At least I didn't say no. Which means a lot, I guess. It was a good start. It was definitely a good start. Anyway, Baileys, we need to go now. Or we'll miss the intro again. You folks going somewhere? Yeah, we're going to go watch the midnight screening of Full Metal Conflict. I didn't take you for someone who likes FMC, Fulua. I don't, but this guy loves it. Hey, you always enjoyed watching me play the game, playing the game. I enjoyed watching you, not the game. Too bad I didn't introduce you to Myrtle just now, Baileys. She worked on the game. Really? Oh well, I'll be visiting this place more often then. I'll probably meet her again in one of these days. You probably will. Now go, you lovebirds. You don't want to miss that ruby. Alright, catch up with you later, Freya. Bye, Calvin. Enjoy the movie.
there they go. I'm so happy for them. They've still got a long way to go. Probably a lot of obstacles in their path. But they're moving forward. Yes. How will you write their story? <clears throat> How will you write their story? As it is. It's beautiful enough. And it is enough to and it, it has and it has enough drama. Ha! That's one way to put it. Anyway. What's that look for? You haven't told me about any of the other friends here. Any of, any of our other friends here. How are they doing? You only skipped coming for 10 days. What do you expect? Come on. They played an important part in my, in my writing process, remember? Well, there are some updates about the regulars. Tell me, tell me. Where should we start? And I'm pretty sure that's the ending. Lua visits this <clears throat> Lua visits this place more often now that she lived nearby. Now that now that they live nearby. The last time they came, they were talking about cater catering and venues. Hyde returned from his trip to Korea and bought some gifts and brought gifts. Some were more special than, than others. He said he's considered moving back to Seattle for, uh, if his agency lets him. I'm sorry, Mr. G uh, Gallup and Hyde. What? Aqua continues her work with the university. She's still working on small indie games. The difference is, she's not alone now. Nice. <laughs> Neil! Can we, yeah, can you explain, Neil? The only news about them are the two postcards they sent me. Um, I hope that he got what he wanted. Rachel is back at the recording studio, reporting for, the, for her first solo album. She found a new manager, someone who made the news as a legend coming back to the industry. And finally, Freya, she finished her book, Get get Published and Have Some Signing Sessions. Sadly, the book didn't sell well. She still visits regularly now, working as a fr uh, freelance writer. Damn it, these texts are way too fast. Coffee Talk, a game by Toge Productions. Writing and game design, Mohamed Fami and Chris and Tony. I'm not going to bother. Okay. All right. Can I, can I press start? Oops. Oh. Hello. Oh, who are you? Welcome. Uh, who are you? You are another nurse person. I'm trying to wait for that chew to go away. Hello, Calvin. Good evening, sir. Um, have we met before? I'm sure this is your first time here. Of course I've been here. In fact, I worked here before. Oh, were you the original owner? What? Wait. No way. Is that really you? It's been a while. You've changed. A bit too much. I've learned a lot about how you live, how to live with your people since then. <clears throat> Wait, I've learned a lot about how to live with your people since then. Wait, who are you? I assume it was a success then? Multiple successes. What's with the new look then? Just trying to blend in. Who are you? It seems like an earthling immigra immigration agency is after me. An earthling immigration is after me. Wait, who are you? Now that you mention it, somebody did visit the place looking for you. Wait a second. Is this Neil? When was it? Not so long after your second visit here. Was he a bald guy in a suit? Oh my god, this is Neil. Yes. The FIRE agent. You've seen him? Yes. Thankfully, I've changed my appearance since then. By the way, you could drop the act in front of me. So, you finally noticed. Wait, who am I? Who am I? Wait, 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 wait. What is... Who am I? Who am I? Do you think that much power can be born from our kind? Do you think that much... that? Do you think that such power can be born from our kind? What? Wait. Am I... Am I what? Am I an alien? You're good with your act, though. It took a few tries. But there are some timelines where I... Where I forget to pretend that I don't have some knowledge of certain stuff. Heh. <laughs> Interesting. Now I'm curious to know about those mistakes. Well, 
It happened a few times. Maybe this isn't Neil. Maybe this is someone else. First, when Freya told me about her meeting in the elevator. Then it was the first time Rachel visited this place. And the last one involved you on your second visit. This has to be Neil, because second visit... And the bald guy... This has to be Neil. Huh? Oh, and there was another one right after. Right after Freya got her draft approved. Can you show it to me? Assuming you know how I communicate with my kind. Never tried it, but let's see. You've beaten the main story of the game, but you haven't seen everything yet. What? What is it? Who? Wait, wait, wait. There's more. Is this canon? Wait, 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 wait. I know that there are multiple endings, but wait, 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 wait. Play game. Is there more? Right? I don't care. I don't care. Oh, wait. Am I just like restarting now? Oh, my goodness. Whoa. It's all the same stuff. Okay. Can I skip all this? If I go back to September, Tuesday, September. Holy shit, I really did restart. Okay. Yes, okay. Oh my god, okay. So there's more to the game. Wait. It's an October 18th. Did I? No, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, day one. Why is it day one? Wait. Wait. What is going on? Wait, hold on. Let me look at my guide really quick. So there's three missing people. Uh, uh, huh. So I read the guy saying if I want to play the game again, it restarts. Right? But apparently there'll be differences in dialogue. There, but it's, again, there's one secret achievement that we need to finish off before we move on. Remember those four days that we that were mentioned on the last day? We need to go back and replay them from the main menu. Both game. It's like day one, uh, Tuesday, September 2nd, 2020. Play this again. You can choose to fast forward through the dialogue if you want. There'll be certain differences in dialogue and time around. You won't be able to fast forward through it. Huh! So, there is more to this game. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, yeah, it shows that I'm not even done with the game. Holy shit. Oh, my God, I could, I could continue playing this. Okay, okay. So, if that's the case, I'll, I'll leave it off here. I'll leave it off here for now. So, uh, thank you so much. So much, Thank you. Blah, 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 blah. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Please hit the like button if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, and hit the bell icon to get notified on when I post videos. Um... So, and follow me at twitch.tv slash calcutie. I'll be trying to stream Infinite, uh, Laggy Dragon Infinite Wealth. Excuse me, when it comes out, or at some point when it comes out. And I'll try to play this some more, um, when I can. But yeah, that's interesting. Um, I can't, I can't wait to continue. All right. But in the meantime, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.